Hello chaps and welcome to my build update number two for the Airfix 170 second scale Vickers Wellington B3. This is the original 1959 tooling in a 1975 reboxing. Uh, this is my second entry into the Bomber Command body build that I'm hosting on here and on Facebook. In this update we're going to look at filling the joints, sanding everything smooth, priming, pre-shading and painting. So first off was filling all the joints. There's the wing roots on the top side and around the nacelles. There were gaps all around these joints. That's the horizontal stabilizers and vertical stabilizers. This is the underside showing the wing roots and nacelle. Both sides needed filler. And the underside of the stabilizers needed filler too. Then it was on to using sprue goo to fill around all the canopy windows, etc. They had gaps all around them. I also used it to fill that seam on the front there and a spot there that filled a sink. Everything was let, left to dry overnight and then smoothed it all down. And you can see the joints look nice and smooth now. Making a ready for priming. I taped the bomb bay to uh, mask that. I then masked the wingtip lights, that's the port side. Use liquid masking film. And that's the starboard side green, masked with the liquid. I then cleaned everything down with isopropyl alcohol. And there's the model all prepared, ready for primer, cleaned and ready. I then masked the wheel bay doors with damp tissue and used a grey Steinol Res Primer to paint all those parts and the model itself. I checked it top and bottom, thought it looked okay. So next I moved on to pre-shading. Now the uh, Fix Wellington was made from a deodectic frame with fabric uh, stretched over it and doped. Now that taut fabric is going to have eye spots where it lays over the framework. So I want those eye spots to look lighter than the paint work around it. So I used the dark earth and I want that to show through the uh, black underside uh, to sort of give the effect of high spots reflecting light and stressed fabric. After doing that, I moved on to the top side, and again, I used a lighter color than I'm going to use. I used sable for the top, because I want that to show through the uh, green and brown camo. And after doing that, I then moved on to painting the undersides and the fuselage sides, and the vertical stabilizer and rudder with flat black. I mixed it with RLM 65 blue, Hellblau, to tone it down, give it a bluish tone. And that's all the bomb bay doors and wheel bay doors painted. And then mixed a bit of white with it to tone it down further. And that allowed me to do some highlights there, as you can see. So just some views of that, how it looks now. With the black undersides and fuselage sides done. And then let that dry and it was on to sealing that all in with a gloss clear coat and allowing that to dry overnight so there's the bombay doors sealed with gloss clear coat and there's the underside shiny with gloss clear coat and the fuselage sides and the vertical stabilizer and rudder there So I let that dry overnight and that allows me to tape over that, mask over it for doing the upper side camo. There's all the side mast and the underside there. Not the wings because the paint doesn't get under the port side all done. And then it was on to making the masks. So usual method, I uh, scale the model against the painting instructions, magnify them on my copier, cut them out and tape them down to the model. And this instance says that what would represent the dark green and the spaces in between will be the dark earth. And there's the air, dark earth airbrushed, but I didn't use dark earth this time, like I did on the 
well in turn I used a flat earth model masters flat earth mix with some white to tone it down and then added more white to tone it down further to do some highlights and then sealed that in when it was dry with gloss clear coat so I can tape over that with the other masks to paint the green but when it came around to doing it I got a little laser I couldn't be bothered to do the masks and so I brush painted the green on and for the green camouflage I used a Vallejo German uniform green 70.920 mixed with some medium green toned down with some white and then I toned it down further when I wanted to do some highlights. And then I took some photographs, show you how she's looking. I thought she was looking okay. And then I took the masks from the underside, peeled the tape from the bomb bay, took the damp tissue out of the wheel bays, then moved on to painting the engines and the front of the cowlings there with a steel colour paint and then it was all sealed in with gloss clear coat all the green and the steel that I did for the engines and the front ends of the cowlings so that's it for this update guys that's all the painting work done so uh, the next Build update number three will cover decals, weathering, and final assembly. So, until then, guys, thanks for watching this. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for following along. Talio, chocks away.